had a few requests to do some more um, flying in the area and to show you guys um, some more points of interest. So we're going to start again in Auckland International and then I've got a little route planned out which I will pop out onto my other screen but I'll show you guys. So basically I'm going to fly, I'm going to take off, turn around, fly back towards the east um, and then we're going to head over um, Manukau towards Ardmore, do a little flyby of the runway uh, and then come back up along the east coast um, and fly past Waiheke um, and Rangitoto and maybe I'll cut back in a little bit uh, before going and landing at Whanuapai. So hopefully this flight goes okay. Um, and we'll get ready to go. So we're clear to take off. And this plane has no flaps. I've been practicing. All we have to do is take off our parking brake and uh, get a move on. I've set the weather to be nice and visible, but still have some clouds so that we can see the uh, Great volumetric lighting. Uh, so this is one down from the highest setting. And I'm currently getting 40 frames per second while recording on a uh, GTX, no RTX 2080 Super. Nice gentle climb. Adjust our trim down. So extra, extra golf, Sierra, you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Head towards uh, Manica Harbor. I just acknowledge that. Auckland Tower, extra alpha, Sierra, X ray golf, Sierra frequency change. I'm also playing with live traffic on and name tags, so we can see there's someone flying out over there. Someone back this way. So we'll begin our gentle bank back towards Manica. fly um, into Ward Ardmore. So again we can see Pukatiju Island on the left there, Anchor Bridge, the water treatment plant, Oakland International Airport, um, an industrial estate, This is a car lot for imported vehicles and rented vehicles and stuff. I think it's actually rented vehicles and imported ones. There's a driving range over here. And then this is the highway out towards Manica from the airport. Where you can see a lot of industrial buildings. And then we've got a lot of residential properties. I used to come here a lot as a kid. There's a warehouse somewhere over here, which is like Walmart for people who aren't familiar with New Zealand stores. I think the warehouse is 
actually over here somewhere. Yeah, I think that might be it over here. And then there's like a super center shopping complex. There's one noticeably missing feature. Oh, this, this is the new um, pool. Um, it's like a white water rafting place. Oh yeah, and then here's Westfield, Manicow. There's a uh, missing apartment building here in Manicow, which is under the flight path, um, which I'm, I always use as a point of reference. So yeah, this is Westfield, a shopping mall. And then we've got, I think, a university or a train station there. Um, and then that means that the warehouse must be over here. That's the warehouse. Well, let's reduce my speed a little bit. And then this is the super center. Okay, so I was a bit off before when I was giving some guidance, but I figured myself out. Yeah, that's the warehouse down there. And then over this way, We've got the motorway, that one goes to Hamilton. And then Rainbow's End, a theme park, is right here. So there you can see the um, race car tracks and the bumper boats and another race car track. And the, oh, that's a roller coaster actually. That's a race car track. And then there's a race car track in here, I think. And then this is a complex with uh, bumper cars and such. That's our premier, pretty much only theme park. Um, now we'll head off towards Ardmore. So we can see Ardmore is popping up. There's a lot of cool air shows over there. I went to one just before COVID became a uh, significant issue in New Zealand, before we put in restrictions, which was um, only a few weeks before the um, Wings Over Wanaka event, which is world famous as an air show. Peter Jackson and um, people like him sponsored that. So it's pretty sad that they cancelled that. I've never been myself, but I know that a lot of people in the aviation community were really gutted. But um, there was an air show here, and they had a, uh, a Venom, um, there was a Sabre, although I don't think the Sabre was flying bunch of other aircraft, Spitfire, uh, Yak. So as we get closer you can see that there's two runways and one of them crosses a road at the very end um, and that's where when the air shows on it's a pretty good place to go and observe because they fly right over you when they're taking off and landing. So the detail is just amazing. Uh, let's see, where is that road? So I think it was this runway here. And I think this is the road. So that's a public road. And then there's a ditch and a fence. But you can park around here and then walk over stand right under the runway and you can see in here the car parks that they have so when they've got an air show and they open up the fields and this is packed with people really cool event you can see a couple of uh, planes down there They've uh, got the detail pretty spot on, if I recall correctly. Alrighty, let's uh, turn back and start to head up the towards the east coast of Auckland. down a little bit more. It's 
So we can see Rangi Toto off in the distance. And then uh, we've got Oakland Airport, South Oakland, pretty much below this sector. scenery is just phenomenal like you wouldn't really know that this is um, a game if you were just looking at it not too closely I've done a great job I can't wait for the assets and everything to get improved over time considering this is like brand new how great it already is What's it going to be like in five years when people have added all these extra details? I am looking forward to it. So we're heading up towards Beachlands and Bucklands Beach, which are two suburbs in Auckland. So over here is Beachlands. If we zoom in, you can see it's not too much out there. That's uh, pretty rural for Auckland. And then we've got Buckland's Beach. I used to go and play football games over there on the odd weekend. And then if we zoom out, um, I think we've got Rotorua, at uh, Rotorua, <laughs> Rangitoto. We've got Motatapu Island, and then here is Motuihi, I think, and then this is Waiheke. So we'll just we'll go have a look at Waiheke for people who are familiar with that area. It's uh, another place I've uh, played football before. It was always good because you had to take the boat, which was fun, and it was a whole day event basically. And they always gave you a good lunch because you went out of your way to come and play football for, um, with them at a home venue but a very nice place to live um, it's not too far from the CBD lots of people commute and now with uh, everyone working from home it's an even better place to work and live so More phenomenal views. Looks like uh, some of these boats are underwater, unfortunately. It's uh, too bad. Um, so there's a beach down here. I think Maraitai is underneath us, which is a famous beach in Auckland. nice beaches out here so the main place that you um, land when uh, coming from Auckland City is I think just at the end of this spit let me just double check that so we've got yeah, so we've got this one, and then we've got this one. So sorry, there's a port in here, which is where most people will disembark to explore the island. So I think the biggest built-up area is on the left side, and then there's a lot of uh, empty space, bush, and parks there. So 
I think in the distance there is the Carmandel Peninsula. And then somewhere over there is Great Barrier. I think that might be Little Barrier, and that might be Great Barrier Island. So we've got a little airstrip here. back in. And head back over Motatapu Grangitoda. So Rangitoda is a, um, I think it's Auckland's uh, newest volcano. It's still pretty old, but I think there were people in New Zealand um, when it first erupted. But don't quote me on that because I'm not actually a tour guide, I'm just pretending to be one. But it's a, a great place to go for a day trip, take the boat over, walk to the summit, enjoy some wonderful views. So if you're not from New Zealand, uh, when COVID's not a thing anymore, you can um, remember to put that on your list of things to do when you come and visit. So we're just going over Waiheke Island. So I think when I played football, it was at the local high school. I think there might only be one. I'm not 100% sure where that is. But you can catch a glimpse of the various points of interest. Lots of houses down there. Most of them are worth quite a bit. It's a desirable location. And here we see Motatapu, which is distinctly sparse of trees compared to Rangitoto. And I went here for school camp um, in my last year of high school. So I think the boat it dropped us off around here. Then we had to carry our bags filled with stuff. I don't know, I think it was actually in here. And then we had to carry our stuff to the campground, which I think was somewhere over here. Where a lot of people um, go to school camp on Motatapu Island. Um, very cool place. There's some um, like gun embankment um, abandoned structures that you can visit go inside of. So it's a fun activity at night when you're in camp there. And that looks pretty accurate to real life. And we've got Rain Toto. In person these trees you can't really discern that they're all separate. So the look is a lot different. It's more like fluffy in real life. Whereas this one yeah, the trees are a bit too easy to distinguish between. Oh, and uh, when we came to camp here, we went actually to the top of Rangitoto before we walked to camp. So it was quite a hike, very good exercise. So the two are connected here. I think we might have had our lunch in this area and then there's a trail that leads you to the top and you get amazing views of Auckland City you can see a little boat there looks like a tanker of some kind so we'll fly over the summit here some fancy inverted flying. See if we can make out the pathways. 
There's a clearing at the top in real life with some benches and I think they might have some binoculars that you put some money into. You can use them to have a look at the city. I think it's around about there. Alrighty. So if you guys uh, want me to fly anywhere else that there aren't that many people posting videos of, just uh, leave a comment. I'm happy to do so. I spent weeks every day I would look up Auckland Flight Simulator 2020 and nobody posted anything. It's just Queenstown. So happy to indulge people. So now we're flying towards Devonport. And you see on the end here is North Head. So there's not that many mountains on the North Shore, but there's two notable ones. We've got North Head here. And then just beside it is Mount Victoria. And that is an absolutely amazing spot to go during uh, Guy Forks and New Year's. At New Year's though, it is very packed. But I went up there on Guy Forks and you could see an amazing fireworks display. And uh, there's a lot of people, so Mount Victoria. And there's quite a bit of parking around it as well. Great place to go for a nighttime walk and see the city. Another great place to go at night is the Devonport um, Marina, I think it's called. Uh, well, it's basically the ferry terminal. So here we can see. Well, in the daytime it's cool as well, so they've got a bunch of cafes here where you can go and have lunch, and then you can walk down here and get a really great view of the city. And you can also take a ferry over if you want to go and do some shopping, see a movie, something like that. And then at night time, I like to just go and park here along this road and look at the lights. And you can see the Harbour Bridge as well, which isn't really rendered like it is. Um, real life but they've got lighting displays and also over here on the right you can see the naval base where we have our one ship so that's pretty cool I think that might be it there under the water um, it's almost like a submarine we hide it there so our, our enemies can't find it over here um, let's just fly out this way so you've got Mission Bay over here which is a very popular Auckland beach there's a bunch of different cafes there and there's a very famous fountain where people like to go and uh, hop in throw some coins get some coins to go and have some lunch there used to be a Burger King there but for some reason they changed it into a Mexican place. I would have thought Burger King would have made a lot of money, but apparently not. Um, we also have Bastion Point, which is just here, and Kelly Tarleton's, which is like a sea life aquarium. Um, great place to bring the kids. You get some great views from up here at Bastion Point. And this is quite a nice drive or a cycle to come around this waterfront, especially going towards the city. You get great views of uh, Rangitoto as well. So Cali Charlton's is just in there. Uh, kind of losing control of the plane right there because I didn't really know where I was looking. And then underneath us is Mission Bay. So there's a famous fountain. There's lots of uh, restaurants along here. Uh, here's a great place to park if the um, if the beach car park is full. You can just go up this road and walk down. 
There's a nice frozen yogurt place in there. And then there's a couple other beaches. Let's head back now. So there's the CBD, the port of Auckland. And then coming up is Newmarket, which I think is just ahead. So there we have the um, overpass for the motorway. Epsom Girls Grammar is just on the other side. And then you've got the new Westfield Mall. And then a bunch of different shops. There's a cinema. And a warehouse. Nolimi. There's Mount Eden. I think that's many. Am I wrong? Sorry. Maybe. Yeah, that is many. I'm no, fully right. Lots of mountains in Northern. So we're just going over Broadway now, the Main Street and Newmarket. And then we're coming up on Spaghetti Junction, where a bunch of different motorways intersect. You can see that down there. And then out on our left is Ponsonby, Greyland and Point Chevalier, so the main strip of Ponsonby is just there, again lots of restaurants, this is where a lot of rich people like to live, CEOs and such in this area, but also a bunch of students have flats there. There's the main strip, a bunch of different restaurants. A lot of boats are moored in here. There's the Harbour Bridge, Little Shoal Bay. And then we're flying towards Birkenhead. So this here is uh, an iconic sugar factory, the Chelsea Sugar Factory. I think they still make sugar there, but it is bright pink in real life, and that's what makes it so iconic, partially. Well, also, it's a great location. And they have a cafe in here and restaurant. And then there's a couple of nice walks in the area. So you can drive through Birkenhead, have lunch there get some nice views of the city and then uh, there's a shopping mall over there so anyway up ahead we can see Hobsonville uh, Aerodrome which is also for new by the military base they seem to have the same um, location just two different names Got West Auckland out there. We're now flying over, I think it's Burkdale or Beach Haven. There's the motorway. So I think I'll um, just get ready for my landing approach. And um, if there's anywhere in particular you want me to go and have a look at, we haven't really done the central suburbs, um, like One Tree Hill, um, Man Eden. Done a little bit of Mount Roscoe. We haven't really gone west. Uh, just let me know. All of this is uh, housing now being developed. Very compact houses basically bare minimum land but a lot of modern sort of amenities it's a very new age community there Hobsonville so 
go to this lower our speed a little bit. No flaps or landing gear to worry about in this plane. Makes it a pretty good sightseeing aircraft. Oh, I should uh, probably contact them. I think it's a bit late. Landing in a military base without asking is not a great idea. It's fine, they would have let me. It's just AI. See if I can do this without bouncing this time. Oh, I bounced. How do you not bounce? I just don't really understand. If you guys want me to go anywhere else in New Zealand or the rest of the world, let me know. But um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you uh, enjoyed. I'll see you next time.